hi guys hope you're doing well so my video today is a bit short however i'm here to show you what's happening with the demerara harbor bridge actually the new demerara harbor bridge yes it has started the construction has started and this is the construction for the country's new 260 million us dollars demerara river crossing yes it has started on the left hand side there but just to let you know that is actually a temporary structure they have there and that is to facilitate the construction of the permanent demerara harbor bridge and here i'm showing you the construction site this is on the eastern side this is on the east bank of demerara i'm on that side of the bridge and i just wanted to show you what's going on so the new Demerara Harbor Bridge will link the east bank of Demerara and the west bank of Demerara once it's completed within two years timeline and this is 2024 that would be so great and it will really ease the traffic on both sides that is on the west side and on the east bank of Demerara and yes we have to go through a lot of traffic every day back and forth back and forth so yes this will help indeed. And the contractors are JV China Railway Construction Corporation. And they will hand over to us, Guyana, a four-lane high-span cable stay bridge structure with a 100-year lifespan. Isn't that amazing? So the structure will connect at Nandi Park on the east bank of Demerara and Lagrange on the west bank of Demerara. And it is expected to be a hybrid design at a length of 2.65 kilometers and it will be replacing the existing Demerara Harbor Bridge which has outlived its 40-year lifespan and like I said it is expected to improve the traffic jam between regions 3 and 4. So just a little history on our existing Demerara Harbor Bridge it is 6,074 foot long floating toll bridge and it was commissioned on the 2nd of July, 1978. And the bridge crosses the Demerara River four miles south of the Guyanese capital, Georgetown. From Peters Hall, Demerara Mahaika, East Bank, Demerara, to Schoonard, Essequibo Islands, West Demerara, West Bank, Demerara. So there is a pedestrian crossing, but, well, when I say pedestrian footwalk, sorry, but it doesn't work anymore. I don't know. I have never crossed it, but it doesn't work. And then there's a race section to let small vessels pass under. And there's a retractor span that lets large vessels pass. So the bridge was designed to last only 10 years, yet it is still in use. And because it was so successful, it has inspired the Burbies Bridge, which was completed in 2008. So tolls are collected only in east to west travel, even though the bridge handles one lane of traffic in each direction. And now they've implemented something called Breeze Pass, and that ha was in effect from October 21st, 2022. And that means commuters with the Breeze Pass will traverse through one lane and will not be required to stop and pay the toll. So, of course, you have to sign up for it. Uh, you have to open an account with the Demerara Harbor Bridge. And there's a process for that. And once that happens, the money is in the account. So all you have to do when you pass through the toll, they scan you and take the money out of your account every time you do that. And that way you don't have to stop and pay at the, the, the toll box. So that indeed was a great initiative. And we use it and we know how... Uh, beneficial it is in terms of time so I hope they're going to bring that over into the new Demerara Harbor Bridge as well and I'm pleading that everybody gets it because it's much easier it will help with the buildup of traffic at the Demerara Harbor Bridge so back to the old Demerara Harbor Bridge yes it hurts to say old yes it's been there for us it had a few disruptions along the way but it did what it had to do and disruptions in uh, as recent as september 2022 but there was a major disruption and this happened in july 2012 and this was uh on span 61 
the western retractor span collapsed during maintenance work, causing it to partly sink, trapping a minibus. Like, that is so horrifying and scary. However, no injuries resulted, but as the larger ferries are decommissioned, it caused major disruption. And I forgot to mention, I said as recent as September 2022, but then again, I remember that they had closures in July 2023, and that was to facilitate replacement of span 9 on the bridge. So, yes, there were times when something ran into the bridge and so on, but there have also been major disruptions when they were doing replacement span of spans on the bridge. So I'm going back to the new bridge now. So as I said before, it will be a four-lane high-span cable stay structure across the Demerara River, with the width of a driving surface being about 23.6 meters. So the new Demerara Harbor Bridge will feature a bicycle lane, will bring an end to the closures to vehicular traffic with a 60 meter fixed high span to cater for the free flow of vessels uninterrupted. And the river will be dredged along a 13.5 kilometer stretch to accommodate large vessels. So specifically, it will provide a better connectivity to the east bank of Demerara Road the Diamond to Ogle Bypass Road on the eastern side of the river, as well as the West Bank Demerara Roads, including the Perica to Schooner Road on the western side of the river. And in September 2022, some contracts were signed for the construction of the Schooner to Crane four-lane highway, a project that is part of a much larger initiative to establish a secondary road linked to Perica East Bank S Equible. So the new bridge will be instrumental in supporting the oil and gas sector in Guyana as companies establish facilities on the West Bank and West Coast of Demerara, including the gas to energy project. So guys, just remember that structure you see there on the water on the left hand side, it's not the permanent bridge. It's a temporary structure to facilitate the new Demerara Harbor Bridge. And yes, they've started the new one. I've seen it on the west side, more to the west side there. Um, these poles already in the water, really high above. So uh, yes, they've started it. And also look out for the Merry Christmas Guyana sign. It's on the, the temporary bridge. They're actually working on it. I can't wait to see when it's all lit, how it's going to look. But they are making out the words Merry Christmas Guyana on the temporary bridge. So it's just a matter of lighting it so we can all enjoy watching it as we cross that bridge. So again, the new Demerara Harbor Bridge will be built to last 100 years. It has a width of 23.6 meters, including the median, shoulders and four lanes, ensuring ample space for safe and efficient traffic flow. And that is the Demerara River and you're looking in the horizon there is the Atlantic Ocean. Yes, the river goes into the Atlantic Ocean. And that side is Georgetown, the city of Georgetown. And 
of course, you got to go from the East Bank of Demerara all the way to Georgetown. And I'm showing you the traffic as it's going on to the Demerara Harbor Bridge. This is peak time. This is about five o'clock in the afternoon now, um, five and the traffic will get heavier as the minutes go by. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share and comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what's happening with you, uh, how your day was, how your week was, and what you have planned for the Christmas season. It's around the corner and I just want to give you an advance Merry Christmas to each and every one of you and um, happy holidays, seasons, greetings, yeah, all that. So take care and don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share, like, yeah, I know I already said that. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. See you in the next one.